disappointing is truly the only word that fits this film as a whole. Amsterdam is David O. Russell's 2022 dramatic comedy, following up his critically mixed 2015 film, Joy. I would have thought Amsterdam would have been a sort of redemption for the critically loved Oscar darling that brought films like The Fighter, Silver Lightning's Playbook, and American Hustle to screen. But instead, Amsterdam is a gigantic misfire and another misstep in his filmography. The film stars Christian Bale, Margot Robbie, and John David Washington as the film's leads, all three heavily decorated workers in the industry. And I'll give credit where credit is due. Their chemistry isn't terrible, it's actually decent. But their three performances are very much underwhelming, and they're not the only ones. Now, I've seen comments on Washington's very bland performance, which I agree, but there's so much more to that. Almost everybody underperforms from Rami Malek to Anya Taylor-Joy to Chris Rock, and hell, he's not the worst, but even Robert De Niro's performance was punching below his weight class. The only enjoyable characters in this where they feel like they're actually acting are Mike Myers' Paul Canterbury and Michael Shannon's Henry Norcross, whose banter and dialogue are really the strongest dynamic in the film, where everyone else's are very hit or miss. And what comes down to the crux of all this is the script. The film's script either feels like it's a first draft or just overall trash. So then it snowballs to affect everything else that relies on it. This explains the very inconsistent and sometimes horrible dialogue and delivery and why everything else is executed fairly well, at least in terms of cinematography, production design, and score. So you have below average performances all around that then later affect editing, which then disrupts the flow of the film and so you end up with a chopped and screwed feature which muddies up the storytelling and the non-existent story as a whole. And you can tell the script feels unfinished because the film has a pretty good first act, a number of well-written sequences and number of funny scenes, but then the second act comes, you know where you're supposed to build up what you've already established and push the story forward, and it just doesn't do that. The second act slows to a crawl story-wise, Things are still happening, but a lot of the sequences don't feel that important and don't push the plot forward, or it does so in the slowest way possible. Like it's relishing in the atmosphere and in the moment. And then again on the performances, it's very odd, but they feel like they're actors acting, which they are, but they don't feel like the characters they're portraying. Like I see Christian Bale, Margot Robbie, and John David Washington, but I don't see Bert, Valerie, or Harold. The best comparison I can make is that they're acting like it's for a theater or play, rather than a film. It just feels so overzealous and over the top for no good reason, not even in a Wes Anderson type of way. It's just odd. And by the time we get to the final act, it not only has to do a bunch of catch up for its subplots, but they literally have to explain who killed who and why they did it, instead of showing why and who, which they could have set up in the act before it. It definitely isn't satisfying, it doesn't feel earned, so it tops off an already mediocre film with the blunder of a third act. And considering it's coming from a quote, Oscar-worthy filmmaker, it's on my short list of one of the most annoying films of all time. And looking at David O. Russell's scandals, controversial history, and recently critical disdain, this could be the final nail in the coffin of his career. I'm feeling a 5.3 out of 10. It has its very few clever moments, but it's just bad. 